Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I just want to share my thoughts about the Xiaomi Mi 5. Just about two days ago, this uh, Mi 5 was launched in Barcelona. It was a very long event uh, and I was taking down notes. So I just wanted to talk about it and share my opinions. And I had also used the Xiaomi Mi 4 last year for almost two months. So I'll also uh, give you my input, what I feel about the device. And Xiaomi said that in uh, 2015, they have sold overall 70 million phones. And according to IDC, they say that uh, they are the number one brand in China. And worldwide, they are uh, fifth in terms of volumes of sales. And uh, regarding the Mi 4, uh, they said that they sold 16 million units till now. So the highlighting fact about this Mi 5 is that it comes with the new Snapdragon 820 chipset. And Xiaomi was talking a lot about the Snapdragon 820, how much it's better compared to the Snapdragon 810 uh, that we get with the Nexus 6P, etc. They say that the CPU performance is 100% better than the Snapdragon 810 chipset. Uh, which is a big claim in my opinion and the GPU is also faster uh, it ha uh, it's about 40% faster and regarding the Mi 5 uh, they said that it will come with the Snapdragon 820 chipset there are actually three variants of the Mi 5 I'll talk about them later on but the good thing is that all of them will come with the Snapdragon 820 chipset and uh, again uh, the two variants they, uh, uh, the lower tire variant and the mid tire variant will come with 3 gigabytes of RAM and they also have a higher end model that comes with 120 28 gigabytes of storage that will come with 4 gigabytes of RAM so a total of uh, three units they have and uh, Xiaomi was also touting that uh, uh, on Antutu benchmarks I am not a firm believer of benchmarks but in Antutu benchmarks uh, the Mi 5 was getting a score of 140,000 that's an insane uh, amount so it'll be interesting to test when it comes out and uh, also it comes with the new Adreno processor that's the Adreno 530 uh, which again as they said is 40 percent better so I'm sure it will be really great for gaming um, but regarding the display it sports that 5.15 inch display and it's still a 1080p display we are not getting a quad HD screen so I feel the battery life should be actually pretty good even the Mi 4 uh, that I used last year had actually pretty good battery life and again regarding the ram as i told you it will have ddr4 ram and that uh, again three gigabytes or four gigabytes and regarding storage uh, they have now moved from emcc uh, storage to uh, ufs storage so technically that's also going to be a lot faster and uh, they also said that uh, the mi 5 will come out of the box with android marshmallow with mi ui 7 and it will also support apart from 4g it will also support uh, volti uh, T support that is uh, I think so in India Lance might uh, come with Volti support and it also has quick charging 3 support according to Xiaomi and they say that uh, it can charge up to 80% within an hour uh, regarding the port it will come with the new USB-C type port and uh, it has a what do you say fingerprint scanner now on the front uh, like the samsung devices so the fingerprint scanner is embedded in the home button so we have a physical home button that's uh, i would say new for a xiaomi device this is the first xiaomi device that will have a physical home button uh, nfc also comes back on the mi 5 it was not present on the mi 4 and uh, 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 I would say it weighs according to Xiaomi it's pretty light at 129 grams uh, for the glass back variant we have two variants the high end variant will have a ceramic back and regarding the battery it will have a 3000 milliamp hour battery now moving to camera Xiaomi was talking a lot about the camera also uh, it will sport a 16 megapixel uh, sensor from Sony which is a new sensor that is the IMX 298 sensor According to Xiaomi, uh, Xiaomi, it has that new uh, optical image stabilization that's 4 axis. Uh, most of these other OS is 2 axis and in their demo they were comparing it with the iPhone 6S uh, and uh, they say it's even better than iPhone 6S. So it will be very interesting to check out the optical image stabilization. And again it obviously uh, uh, supports uh, 4K video and regarding auto focusing it they claim that it's going to be really fast because it has face detection autofocus so it'll be interesting to test how will be the camera performance even the Mi 4 last year had a decent camera performance but in artificial lighting and low lighting uh, it was not that great and also the problem with the Mi 4 last year was that the when you use the flash the pictures used to come out to be a little bit yellow so I'm looking forward to test out the Mi 5's camera uh, moving to the front-facing front camera they have done an interesting thing 
uh, it's that ultra pixel camera that we uh, actually saw uh, on HTC. So it's a four megapixel ultra pixel camera. The advantage of ultra pixel camera is that even in low lighting, uh, you can get very uh, good shots uh, because it has a two micron pixel. So again, that'll be pretty interesting to test. And regarding the screen, as I've told you, it comes with a 5.15 inch uh, screen. Uh, and uh, according to Xiaomi, it's a really bright screen. It can output up to 600 nits and it'll have that sunlight legibility. So even in outdoor, uh, in direct sunlight, it should be easy to, uh, the visibility should be actually pretty good. Now moving to the pricing, uh, again they listed what do you say uh, the pricing in uh, uh, Chinese Yuan and uh, the lower end variant that will come with 32 gigabytes of internal storage uh, that has 3 gigabytes of RAM uh, uh, in China it will be uh, 1999 Yuan and uh, if we convert it into dollars it will be 306 dollars. So if we roughly convert that into Indian pricing, uh, it'll be around 21,000. And their higher end variant that comes with four gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage uh, with that ceramic uh, back, uh, it will be uh, $398, so approximately $400. Uh, they said that uh, it'll be launching in China on March 1st, and they said in their, uh, what do you say, press event, uh, that uh, it will soon come to India, but they haven't announced any date yet for India. So I expect that uh, this Mi 5 also should launch uh, uh, pretty quickly in India. We know that the Redmi Note uh, 3 is going to launch in India on March uh, 3rd. Maybe Xiaomi will announce a date in that event for the Mi 5. Uh, so overall, it looks like an interesting product. And also from the back, uh, I would say they have that curved uh, back. Uh, again, we saw that in the uh, Redmi Note Pro, the curved back a little bit. Uh, so it does easier to hold so i'm actually looking forward to test out the mi 5 and again guys what do you think uh, about the mi 5 do share your opinion in the comment section below thanks for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video